Thanks for joining. This is Movado, and I'm back here with another Empyreon Galactic video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to replace blocks in a build in creative mode. Uh, I'm in creative mode right now, and this is the only place this will work. If you're in a survival game, you're kind of out of luck. Before I do that, I'll just put the plug out there. If you're liking the videos, please do hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, and let me know if you have any comments in the chat, and I would uh, be happy to hear from you. All right. On to the replace blocks, kind of what I was talking about, the reason why we're here. First of all, I'm going to start with a multi-tool in hand. And the easiest way to do this is I always recommend hitting your utility, bring up this window and hit DI, which is, I believe, for the debug info. It is. Now you can see it turn the upper right corner on in your screen. You've got a new window. There's a couple things you can see in there. Uh, if you look at the third row down, it says ID equals 1234, Soder 6000. That means the ship's ID is 1234, just happened to randomly spawn in that way. But that is the ID of this ship, and that is important for when you do the replace blocks command. Uh, the other thing you can see is on the very bottom, it says 384 slash hull armored thin small. Hull armored thin small is really helpful because that tells you the, the the code or the letters that you have to type in to get those replaced. The 384, 383, 7, all those other numbers just tell you, I think, I think it's the specific block type or shape, or I don't know, it doesn't matter. All you need is that it's a hull armored full small, and there's multiple variants, which I'll get into. Okay, so on this ship, what I'm going to do is this ship is made purely out of hardened steel. I'm going to upgrade it to combat steel just for show, just for the sake of doing it. The easiest way to do it is if you put down a combat steel block. If you look at the hull armored full small is what it currently is, you want to convert it to hull combat full small. So the difference between combat and hardened is hull combat full small versus hull armored full small. To do that replace blocks command, you just hit your button and you type replace blocks space one, two, three, four space hull armored 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 did it knew that didn't look right, hull, armored, full, small, and you're going to replace it with hull, combat, full, small. And then it says it replaced 970 blocks, but that's just step one. There are multiple versions or multiple things you have to do. There's hull, full, there is hull, thin. So ch change the thin to full to a thin, you hit it again, and then you have extended. So replace the, f the thin with extended. Do it one time that was 152 blocks and i'm hitting the up arrow on my keyboard to bring back the previous code that i typed that's just a little shortcut hull extended has six versions so i did the base version now you do version two now you do version three now you do version four now you do version five and six there we go. Replaced all those blocks. You can see what happened on every single one. Now if I go into the, the menu, I'm going to remove that block. And now you can see Combat Steel, 1,653 total blocks. That's how you use the, the, the Replace Blocks command. That does only work on the entire ship. So I'm going to spawn another one of these ships. And I'm going to show you a trick that I like to do. Uh, let's say you only want to change part of the ship. So in this ship, if I only wanted the front nose to be combat steel, but I wanted the rest of it to stay as hardened steel, uh, the trick that I like to do is I like to take one ship, completely spawn it all in, upgrade it, and then using the copy and paste, and I'll show you a quick copy paste, hit the selection, slide it over, up, down, I'm going to take this, I'm just going to take the whole cockpit, just so it makes it easier. Hopefully I don't chop any devices in half. Okay, so I selected the entire nose of this ship. This is all combat steel. If I hit my end menu, and I hit the copy button, and then I remove my selection, come over here, paste that selection in, and now i got to move it down, which dragging is the easiest way generally. that that looks like it all lines up it does go back to my menu and I hit paste a second time 
And there it is. There I just upgraded the front of this ship to combat steel, whereas everything else is hardened steel. So a couple different ways to upgrade your ships. You could do that with other critical pieces as well. Uh, remember, DI for the debug info. Look in that top right corner. And then there's those six different extended groups plus the uh, full and small. Well, I think that summarizes it all. That's all I got for today. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Otherwise, like I said before, hit that like, subscribe button, and hope to see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Take care.